Are you stuck in a rut with your glasses and you feel you just need to pick me up? Or maybe you're in the market right now to purchase a new pair of frames and you're just not sure of what to look for that will suit you for your face shape and your coloring. Well, if you stay tuned, I'll be giving you some tips on uh, how to go out and pick out the best frames for your face. So I hope you stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jacqueline and welcome to Timeless Beauty Studio for the Mature Woman. The topic today is how to pick out a great pair of frames. I'm going to be giving you some tips on what to look for when it comes to purchasing your frames and the tips I'm going to be covering are on your face shape, your coloring, personality and fit. First of all, I just want to start off by saying that if you wear glasses, I just want you to remember that it, consider your glasses is an accessory for your face. So when somebody's looking at you, the first thing they actually see is your eyes and your glasses. So it's very important to pick out uh, a pair of frames that really suit your personality, your face shape, and your coloring. If you can purchase more than one uh, pair of glasses, that actually helps too, because then you can switch off your eyewear to different outfits that you're wearing. Now, I know that not everybody can do that because they are expensive, uh, but if you have a, a plan, you can look for uh, eyewear that you could possibly buy two for one, and that helps too. Um, also, um, your, your and sunglasses are included in that too. So anyway, um, let's just talk about face shape first of all. Now I have done a video that I'm going to put up a card there, that um, up there, that you can see if you want to go back to this video, it helps you to find out what your uh, face shape is because not everybody knows exactly what their face shape is. And uh, so this video will help you to do that if you want to go check that out. So when you're going out to buy your frames, it's a good idea to have that um, idea uh, ahead of time. Not everybody will fit into one category of face shape. Um, for instance, my face shape is oval, but I do have a little bit of uh, squaring off here on the bottom of my face, probably because the jowls are coming in too, so it's a little more pronounced now that I've gotten older. But um, So I take into consideration um, the two different shapes in my face. So you could have um, a partially oval face and a partially squared off face. So anyway, think about that too. So when you're looking at the lines in your face, that helps when it comes to picking out your frames too. Now I just wanted to put up a chart here of showing you some different face shapes, just to give you an example. Um, also, if you go onto Pinterest, you will see all kinds of different charts with face shapes if you want to go and check out, see how your face shape compares to what they have there. Um, like I had mentioned, you can have a combination of two different um, types of face shapes, so not everybody is the same. You just don't fall into that one category, that's okay, because uh, we're all different. But anyway, it's a good idea to know your face shape before you start out with uh, purchasing your glasses. Um, and now, when researching, like if you go online and you see, uh, say for instance, you go on to um, an eyewear uh, site, they always, I find that they always tend to tell you to purchase your eyewear um, shape opposite of what your face shape is. So for instance, say for instance my face shape is square, then they would say purchase something with more um, roundness in it. Now I'm going to also put up a picture here for you. This girl's uh, face shape is round and she is wearing frames that uh, look squared on her face. So that's what you see out there um, that uh, a lot of the optical places recommend you to buy uh, opposite to what your face shape is. Now that looks good, but I want to say that there are two uh, schools of thought when it comes to uh, purchasing the shape for your face. Uh, there's really no set rules I find. You can either go one way or the other. Uh, one way that I was taught in um, when I was taking my image consulting course was to pick a frame that uh, actually mimics your face shape. So you want to mimic the lines in your face. So I have more um, round lines in my face as opposed to angular lines. So picking out a frame, I would pick something that was softer, more rounded than uh, going the opposite and picking out the more squared off frames. Like I said, do what you want to do and you feel comfortable with, but this is what I was taught and, and it's a keeping in harmony with the lines in your face. So I'm going to put a picture up here for you, another one here, of a girl who has a square face shape and she's wearing the squared off frames in her face. 
uh, on her face, sorry. So it just gives an example of, um, you know, her mimicking the lines in her face with her frames. And I think they look lovely too. So wear what you feel, um, you feel that complements your face. I have a couple best. more pictures I wanted to show you too, um, of some different face shapes on these, on these particular ladies. So another picture that I'm going to put up here, this beautiful lady here has a rounded face shape. And you will notice that her frames are, are more rounded on her face and they suit her uh, really well. I think sometimes when you pick um, a frame that mimics your face shape, it um, makes it more of a statement piece. That's, that's what I believe anyway. Um, and then the next lady I'm going to put up here, um, she also has a round face, but as you can see, she's wearing um, more of a cat eye, which accentuates her eyes and uh, lifts her face, and uh, actually still has the curves in the, uh, in the glasses, that mimic the curves in her face too. So they look really lovely on her too. A couple other examples of uh, um, frames for your face is uh, if you buy a frame that has, for instance, what I'm going to put up here is a picture of a lady that has the red on the top of the frame and the bottom is out with no color. Um, that can give you some color, um, you know, to add to your wardrobe. And also it, what it does is it brings the eyes up when they're looking at you, they're looking, bringing the eyes up higher. And also, uh, if you have a short face, uh, with the bottom of it out, um, it lengthens the face too, as opposed to if you had bottom in the frame, that can tend to shorten your face. And then there's another lady's picture I'm going to put up here who has the blue on the top of her frame, and that uh, is a really good coloring for her too, so it's really pretty with her skin tone and, um, and her eyes. So, that uh, is another example too of having the outside the bottom of the frames open. And I just wanted to talk about coloring too. So you should take into consideration when you're buying your frames if you're cool or warm. And uh, I've also done a video on how to determine if you're cool or warm and I will put that up in the um, up in the card there. You can check that out if you want to if you're not sure. But I know a lot of us know whether we're cool or warm. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing your frames. So if you're cool, you know, stick to the, um, as far as metals go, stick to the silver um, and say platinum or pewter. And if you're warm, stick to the golds and um, the bronzes and that sort of thing is a better metal option. Also, um, as far as your coloring goes, um, like say for instance, I'm a cool uh, undertone. So when I pick out frames, I'm going to pick out um, something in my color range. So I have a flag here that shows you all the colors that I wear, and this is my cool colors. So when I'm picking out frames, I want to make sure that the color in my frame is going to be very similar to the colors that I wear. So just keep that in mind too. And um, <clears throat> I'll just show you some uh, examples of uh, my eyewear when I uh, purchase them and the reasoning for my purchases. First of all, I have um, this uh, wire frame here, and this is silver, and it's uh, got some silver and black, and like I had mentioned in the pictures, um, the X accent is at the top, and the black here and the silver with a little bit of a stone here, so that brings the attention up to the top of my face and it's open on the bottom so I don't have a really long face so that's okay you can have it open on the bottom if I had a longer face it would be great to have like it closed in and uh, also I just want to mention too when you're buying your eyewear make sure that they sit even with your eyebrows or um, just below just a tad bit below the eyebrows make sure they don't come up above the eyebrows so I just wanted to mention that too so that's one example <clears throat> and I bought these to wear for more of a dressy occasion. Another pair of glasses that I have bought, um, I had purchased because I love purple and I wear purple and blues and that sort of thing and I want more of a casual look. So I have bought these, oh they are dirty, sorry about that. But uh, again they're more of a cat eye and they're more rounded in shape so I do have the rounding in my face so they suit my face shape. I'm going more in harmony with the lines in my face. And as you can see, they're even with the eyebrows. My eyebrows come up just a little bit. And the coloring in them, I have the purples and the blues. Now there is a, just a tad bit of green, which is really not in my palette, the, the green that's in them, but it's not very noticeable. I just like the frame so much, that's why I purchased these ones. 
And then uh, <clears throat> I did purchase another pair that more of a cat eye. And these are in uh, black and white because I do wear, as you can see today, I do wear a lot of black and white. So they go with my hair, black and white, and um, a lot of the black and white I wear. And again, it's a cat eye. And you will notice that actually mimics the shape of my eyes and my eyebrows. So it's very similar. I have an almond eye, so it's very similar. So it's mimicking the eye shape. So again, I'm, I'm picking frames that are in harmony with the lines in my face. Okay, so those are some tips on what to look for. Um, when a couple other things frames. I wanted to mention is, uh, if you have gray hair, um, uh, the tortoise shell coloring is very, very popular actually. If you have brown hair or um, blonde hair, it looks great on. But if you are all completely gray, uh, I would stay away from the tortoise shell uh, coloring unless it's uh, more of a, a dark tone, maybe perhaps more into the chocolate tone. Um, but tortoise shell isn't the greatest for gray hair. Um, but you know, it is a neutral uh, frame, a neutral coloring. Um, also, if you have gray hair, don't pick out anything too um, pewter color um, or fine, fine gray um, wiring is what I'm trying to say, because sometimes it can be um, aging too. So just be careful when you have the gray hair to maybe perhaps pick out something with a little more color and uh, that's really complementary to your skin tone. Now I'm just going to touch a little bit on personality and lifestyle. Another thing to think about when you're picking out your frames. Um, like are you more of a natural sporty type person or perhaps you're more edgy or elegant. So think of those things when you're, when you're picking out the style of your frames. I'm going to be putting a picture up here for you of um, Jamie Lee Curtis and she's wearing a beautiful frame for her face. And uh, actually, if you look at her face shape, is more of an oval, and she's more squared off frame, which is good too. And she's gone for more of the opposite, <clears throat> excuse me, shape of her face. Um, but her her frames are very natural and sporty looking. They're very simple, so that suits her personality style. Is she's more of a natural personality. Now another picture I'm putting up here, as you can see, is Oprah. And um, Oprah, if you look at her frames, they're very bold and uplifting on her face, actually. And uh, she is, uh, she likes to make a statement. So her frames are definitely making a statement on her face. So that suits her personality and her style. Okay, so just to finish off, I want to give you a few more tips to think about. So when you're going shopping for your frames, it's a good idea to bring somebody with you that um, would know what looks good on you. So whether it's your husband or not, he might not know. I don't know if you want to have his uh, opinion, but uh, actually my husband, I take him with me and he's pretty good at knowing what looks good on me too. But if you have a girlfriend, um, so have her come along with you so you can get another opinion as opposed to just getting the opinion of somebody who's working in the store. Um, also, um, although, you know, sometimes they have, they can give you some great opinions too. But uh, another suggestion is to take, um, take your camera and take a selfie of you wearing the glasses because I find that when you see yourself in a picture, it's really a good indication for you of what your frames look like on your face and you can really make a, a better decision seeing it that way. Uh, just another couple more tips is uh, don't wear glasses that are too big or too small for your face. The structure of the eyewear should sit and I'm going to put a picture up here for you and you can see the lady here she has her eyes eyewear are way too big for her face so they come out way too big on the sides of her face so you want to make sure that they sit pretty well flush to the sides of your face without going out too far also you don't want to have them come down too far down here either where they would sit on your cheek you don't want them having sit sitting on your cheek and um, fitting your frame, you want to make sure that the uh, nose bridge, I'll show you on mine, comes right down and sits right on the bridge of your nose right here. So that's another tip to think about too when you're purchasing your frames. I'm putting a picture up here of Iris Atfill and uh, I think she's a, a lovely lady and I admire her for her statement she makes and she's very confident in her older years. And the glasses she wears actually, you know, they make a statement, but 
they do come up quite high above the eyebrow and I think for an everyday look for anybody who's buying glasses make sure that they don't come up too high and her, hers are quite big on her face too so obviously unless you really want to make a statement like that keep it more in, in, uh, in uh, size to your face um, and just another look I'm going to put up here of um, Rita Moreno and she is wearing some eyewear they're actually too small for her face so they come in too close into her face here so she would be better off with something that was a little bit come out to the temple a little bit wider so that's just another example of uh, wearing a frame that's too small for your face I have another picture here of a lady um, like showing you that uh, if you have your, if you have close set eyes uh, be sure to pick the nose like the nose bridge here that's very light you don't want anything too heavy in here my eyes are fairly close set and um, my nose bridge as you can see is not too heavy here and again it sits right on the on the bridge of the nose and I just wanted to mention too that we, uh, as you age sometimes you get these troughs underneath the eye which I definitely have and I like wear glasses because it does cover up those lines sometimes and um, you don't notice them as much when I'm wearing glasses as opposed to not wearing glasses but anyway um, check out if your eyes are close set or wide apart if they're wider apart I'm going to put up this picture here of this lady and you can see the nose uh, area here is definitely wider so she can afford to do that with uh, uh, wider set eyes now just the last a couple of things I just wanted to mention before I go is um, also if you have a long nose and you know I, I have a bit of a long nose so just to show you when the nose bridge comes down a little bit lower like you can see it's come down lower here it will shorten up the nose a little bit if you have a small nose this area here could come up a lot higher so that's just another thing to think about uh, when you're purchasing your frames and also you want to make sure that your eyes are right in the middle of the frame I know they do the measurements for uh, when you have um, bifocals or progressive I have the progressive make sure that um, even when you try them on though you can see that your eyes are pretty well centered in the center of the frame you don't want to have all this frame and your eyes maybe in closer to the to the nose you might look a little cross-eyed so anyway that's all my tips for purchasing eyewear I hope it helped please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel I hope you join the Timeless community I'd love to have you and I'm so appreciative of everybody that has um, subscribe to my channel I love you lots and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video so take care if you have any questions please uh, put them in the comment section I'd love to hear from you I know there was a couple ladies that um, did want to see some video on how to or what to look for when purchasing eyewear so uh, I hope that helped anyway take care have a great day love you lots bye